What's going on, guys? Welcome to Rhino Review Stuff. I'm Rhino, and I review stuff. The stuff I've got to review today is kind of a blast from the past for me. It's a little bit of an audio interface, if you will. Let's check it out. Inside this shiny box are the Sam & Johnny YS-01 bone conducting headphones with microphone. And I do believe the microphone is magnetic and detachable. And I'm pretty excited to check these things out. They do have Bluetooth 5.2, as you can see right there underneath the little blue sticker. Sound transmitted directly into the ear through the bones without passing through the eardrum. Listen to music and pay attention to the outside voice. Bone conduction YS-01. First thing out of the box here is the user manual. It does have several Asian languages, but the English is down here at the bottom. So we've got on off, we've got pairing to your phone, multi-function button, and uh, special function operations. So using mute and voice prompts during the call with the microphone. So yeah, there's the instructions right there. A little velvetish pouch here, and it does say Sam and Johnny. We got the headphones. We got a very shiny metallic box here. A couple of cables. Looks like we've got a USB cable here. It appears to have a proprietary charger, one of those magnetic types. And USB-A on the other end, so you can take this and charge it wherever. A little piece of foam. I don't think we need to review that part. And that's actually pretty neat. It does come with two of these chargers, so one for home and one for at work, and I'm actually really happy about that. That's pretty darn cool. And last thing here is the magnetic clip-on microphone. Yeah, it is very wiggly and gooseneckly, and you got your little magnets right there and your three prongs to attach it to the actual device. And uh, yeah, we're going to get some audio out of that here in a minute. And last but not least are the bone conducting headphones. They got this nice little wood grain pattern there. Check that out. That's really, really sharp. It says Sam and Johnny. We've got our connector there. I'm assuming it's a multi-purpose connector for either the charger or the microphone. And yes, it does appear just looking at the charger thing. Yep, connects just like that. So two prongs for charging. Looks like they hit the front and the last. And for the microphone, you got them all. So it looks like... Boom, like that, and wow, it's a actually pretty strong magnet there. Mm -hmm. On the top of the unit, we do have a plus button and a minus button. That's assuming that's going to be for some volume or switching tracks. We got a call button here on the side, and on this one, we got nothing. So I'm going to get these bad boys charged up, and we're going to try them out. Making a call. We'll see what it sounds like for them. I don't know if they're going to answer. Hello, this is your son. Are you able to hear me? How do I sound? Do I sound better or worse than on my regular phone? Sound exactly the same? Okay, that's all I wanted to know. So how are you doing? And the audio you're hearing now is coming from the little microphone attached to the Sam & Johnny YS-01 headset. Here I go. The tricorder is a multifunction handheld device used for sensor scanning, data analysis, and recording data. This kit includes a replica of the iconic tricorder, which features light and sound, and a 48-page mini-book with full-color photos. I plan to be opening this one pretty soon. I'm going to be honest here. I just did some playback, and that sounded pretty darn good. Other than being very low, it was actually a pretty decent sound. So the little microphone here that's attached to this headset sounds pretty good. I'm kind of shocked, like genuinely shocked. Plus, when I played it back for the first time, I played it back through the little headphones here, and they sounded pretty good, too. So, let's talk about the actual headphones. Okay, I will be the first to admit that these are not exactly stylish. However, they are extremely functional, and when the music started playing for the first time, I was genuinely impressed with how good it sounded. So, you got these two little buds here that go kind of in your ear canal, but not like actually in your ear canal. It's kind of hard to explain. They just sit there on the edge of your ear. And they do have these little pads here that rub against the side of your head, so they do a little bit of vibrating. And really, they sound very nice, because you are still getting the sound being pumped into your ear. You're just not getting it covering your ear. And honestly, that's 
pretty good. I have no problems with that whatsoever. This button here, you do press and hold. You can turn on the functionality there with your phone calls. You can pause and play your music. Volume buttons here do also work. Another nice thing about this is it does have automatic time off. So yeah, you just set them down and wait, and pretty soon they go off. And that's a nice thing too, saving some battery. I'm going to continue using these for the rest of the week, and I'm going to see exactly how good the battery is. Um, charging time did not take very long at all. Even with that proprietary charger that you plug in right there, it just charged up in a couple hours. So I'm looking forward to really seeing how well these things work. I will be taking these to work with me, and I am going to be doing a lot of listening. So I'll come back to you in about five days, give you my final verdict. So I've spent roughly a week and a half here with these Sam and Johnny YS01s, and I gotta say I'm pretty happy with the battery life. I am getting between 16 and 18 hours, depending on the situation. So my first try of running through the battery, I ran these things from the time I woke up until the time I went to bed, with music playing at full volume the entire time, and when I got back to my iPad it said they had 5% battery left, so that's pretty good. Charged them up, tried again, and I think I got like an hour longer the next time, and I think that could be because we did have a mild power outage and maybe it lost connection for a few minutes, but then it went back up and continued playing because when I got home from work, they were still running. And yeah, the third time, same thing, I got about within 30 minutes between the two. So yeah, 16 to 18 hours, that's going to be your battery life on these. Let's talk about the sound quality. Sound-wise, these are not the absolute best. They do sound pretty good. For what they are, they sound pretty good. Uh, especially since, you know, you've got these two little pieces here that do go in your ear, but they do vibrate on your head as well to give you a little bit of extra sound. The bass is passable. It's acceptable. The uh, voice quality, though, it is a little bit tinny. I'm not going to say these are going to be perfect for YouTube watching or anything like that, but when you're outside listening to music and you're jogging around or something, or if you're in a space where you need to be able to hear, these are going to be just fine. These are not for the audiophile in your life. If you are here for the best sound that you will ever get, uh, you're just not going to get them from bone conducting headphones. That's just not what these are for. These are so you have, you know, situational awareness. You are able to, you know, hear what's going on in your surroundings. And for that need, these are great. Um, they're comfortable to lay down in. Yeah, I just put them on. And now it does take some finagling with your earlobes to get these in position. But once you get them in position, I mean, you can lay down on these and they're pretty comfortable. So you can use these in bed so, you know, you can still hear your wife talking to you and saying, hey, stop farting. So they're pretty good in that respect as well. The voices do sound a little bit tinny. I might have mentioned that a second ago. But honestly, that's not too big of a deal. When you're listening to just plain old music, they sound pretty good. They're not going to sound wonderful. But, like I said, they're not for an audiophile. So if you are interested in these Sam and Johnnies, I will leave a link down there in the description. Like, subscribe, and all that jazz, and yeah, I'll see y'all later. Bye!